Hello all you hardcore boxing fans out there, how are you doing? It's Big Porky here, the voice of hardcore boxing. And we're going to be brave with this video now because I'm not really bothered. Uh, people saying to me, oh you can't say this, you can't say that. I said, well you're saying it. Yeah, but you can't go out there and say it. Well, I can. So here we go. And I wouldn't put it past them, but this is what I personally think. This is my opinion. It's not anybody's around me opinion. It's my opinion, and this has happened before. I think that Frank Warren, Bob Arum, Eddie Hearn, Sky, BT Sport, Tyson Fury, Anthony Joshua. I th I think, and I wouldn't put it past them to try and sell this fight and use race to sell it. I, w I wouldn't put it past them. It's boxing, isn't it? It's a sport with no rules. Uh, people might say, no, no, they won't do that. Well, Larry Holmes and Jerry Cooney, Don King and all them did, didn't they? years ago and it weren't biggest selling fight at the time ever that's what I think and I think that I think these will do that as well it's just a sign of the times how things are going isn't it and I think they'll capitalize on that I think this is why they're putting it out there that it, it could be up to 50 quid I mean the testing water aren't they, for reactions and there'll, there'll be a divide and I think that that's where it'll go They'll be laughing all the way to the bank. I mean, if these people want to say no, they're not going to do that. I'll stick my hand up and I'll say I'm wrong. But we're talking about people here whose sayings are Eddie Earn, I love a pound note. Uh, Bob Arum, yesterday I was lying, today I'm telling the truth. Frank Warren, you've got to treat fighters like mushrooms. Feed them shit, keep them in dark. And what's the other one he uses? If you want loyalty in boxing, get a dog. Although that phrase was started from Mickey Duff. These people are not bothered. It's the wild, wild west boxing. And I won't put it past them. We've already had Tyson Fury adding fuel to the fire, coming out about if he'd have said what Joshua would have said, it would have been. There would have been hell on it. He's right. But. He's mentioning it and adding fuel to it. We saw what Morgan Freeman said, didn't we? Just don't mention it. So, but my job is to tell it as I see it. And I think that this the race card's going to be used if this fight happens. That's what I think. I don't think it's going to go away. And I think they're going to milk it for all they can get. The pay-per-views will be expensive. They're not even going to fight in England by the looks of it. Hmm, these people are not bothered if they do fight in England it's because nobody wants it but they're not going to fight in England they're going to go elsewhere two British fighters in the biggest fight of all time but they're not going to fight in England for the fans what did Joshua and Eddie Earn say we're going to do it for fans Joshua's not fought in England for God knows how long now has he so but for the fans isn't it because we're all these people care about aren't we they're only bothered about the fans. They're not bothered about the fans. They're bothered about getting millions and millions of pounds. And boxing's always been like that. And good luck to them. They're putting their lives on the line. But I've got Tyson Fury to punch Joshua upside down to knock the living daylights out of him. And and the people around Joshua probably probably know this. So they're gonna they're gonna hammer it, aren't they? They're gonna use anything. To sell this to get money, they're gonna they're gonna sell arse out of this. Let me tell you, and they're gonna they're gonna go lower than a snake's belly to sell it. All of them, because it's all about money. It's all about money. It's not about belts. Tyson Fury's won everything. He's got the clean sweep. Nobody's won what he's won, and he's done it all. He's only got two world title wins, two world title wins, but he's beat the best of two eras, hasn't he? Wilder's best of this era. Vladimir were best at last year. Tyson's done them both, hasn't he? Comfortably. So you've got to give him credit. And could you begrudge them getting millions now? I mean, they all treat Tyson like a dog when they beat Vladimir, didn't they? So he's entitled to that money. But isn't it funny how the tables have turned? We've gone from Joshua being golden balls to now being a pariah. So they're going to keep that now. They're going to... 
and they're going to have to go along with what he's said now aren't they so look at this being sold to the fans as a a black white thing that's what I think anyway they're, oh, they're going to use the race car to sell it that's just my opinion pretty brave video don't you think but who cares it's an opinion isn't it we're not being racist we're just saying that these people are going to sell it like that but I'm not really bothered what people think anyway I'm thick skinned but it is what it is isn't it so peace out keep on trucking keep supporting boxing don't have nightmares